<sighs> Howdy folks, <laughs> welcome to Coffee and Tools. We're in the garage like always, and uh, what I'm looking at today was storing stuff, you know, little parts and things, and I've been picking these up at yard sales all my life, and you know, I label the drawers and get all fancy with them and stuff, but at the end of the day, sometimes when I go to look for like a quarter 20 bolt, I gotta go through, you know, six and seven and eight of these things little drawers you know trying to find you know let's see where if i can find the right size one i want it would be nice to be organized where you just walk up in the drawers labeled and say oh this is what i need but that's not reality is it <laughs> so i'll show you the alternative that i've sort of leaned into uh, in the last few years and i really like it so let's take a look at it right cool Yeah, so uh, <laughs> if your garage is like mine, you've got a bunch of these and those little drawers, who knows what's in them. The ones I have purchased from yard sales, I've noticed the assortment inside the drawers is horrible. They're not organized, the nuts, the bolts, it's just like I've just been thrown in. So I'm not the only guy on the block doing that. <laughs> we're, we're probably all a little, you know, a little guilty. And I've even seen some of these where they're like 60 drawers or 120 drawers or something. And you're just like, if I have to store all that in those silly little drawers, uh, no. And plus the drawers, of course, get broken like this. Just a side note. I showed you one uh, Monday. You can 3D print new drawers for these things if you're, if you're, you know, inclined to, which I did. I replaced a number of the ones where the drawer was broke or missing from like a yard sale went ahead and made a new drawer and put it in so that they're a full set of drawers. This one here hasn't been done for some reason. Uh, it came in not that long ago. And again, I went through the drawers, looked at the guy's stuff that was in there from the yard sale and it was like, you know, all mixed up with whatever. So one of the things that I started doing a little bit and it's really, it's sort of like, yeah, this definitely works a lot better is, and I just pulled a sample out of one, one drawer. I have these low profile drawers on a workbench over here. And yeah, I think it's just great because you open the drawer up and you've got these little assortment packs that I get from like, you know, Amazon or eBay. And they're, they're just, it's just so much easier to open one of these up, such as this right here, and open it up, the nuts, the bolts, you know, everything's here, washers, lock washers and whatever. And the cool thing is they don't cost that much. You know, they're between say 10 and $20 for most of these. And they usually come with, look at this uh, spring assortment kit. This is what got us out of trouble this week was this right here. And it's, you know, 200 different springs and it sort of sounds dumb, but it was like, you know, I bought this and I have been stealing some of the springs out of here for different projects. And it's been like a lifesaver at times and time saver because it's like, oh, I need a little spring. Boom, right there. Or I need, you know, a small nut and bolt combination for a project I'm working on and I just get into these. So I have several uh, low profile flat drawers and I have these kits in them. And I bought, you know, some small screws and nuts for just real basic, simple, you know, issues that you get into. So far to date, I have not emptied one of these, but I have picked stuff out of them and it has saved me over and over again from you know the headache so i think that in terms of for cost and for you know these are pins and again a lot of times when you need a pin it's like what am i gonna do drive all the way over to one of the big box stores or uh ace hardware tractor supply or something and try to buy one pin for three dollars or something where for nine or ten dollars i buy a whole kit of these off of you know one of the sites like i said amazon or ebay and just put that in my drawer. And then if I need a pin, I know exactly where to go. I also have clips, uh, electrical clips, washers, and some other assortment packs like this. And it's like, they have been a godsend compared to, you know, digging through old Mr. You know what, and looking, uh, maybe it's this, uh, maybe it's the next drawer over, the next drawer over. And then it's like, oh, maybe I'm in the wrong box and go find another one of these and start looking through. And like I said, I even labeled and I have one here with uh, labels. We'll take a quick look at it. No, it's a disaster. Uh, turn the light on even just, just over the bench here just so you can see a little bit better. And these are all labeled uh, with the quarter 20s, the 1034, 1024, you know, screws. Uh, it just, 
it slowly got intermingled with stuff somehow. I don't know, gee, I don't know who did that. <laughs> but it got mixed up. And so now when I open something up like the 8232, that's not what's actually gonna be in there. And it's like, this just slowly turned into a disaster. It seemed like an organized, nice, a really good idea. And it's, it is great. You know, it, I think that this is at least moving in the right direction. But those little assortment packs are just so much easier to deal with. They're so inexpensive. Uh, you don't have to buy separate pieces or something. You get everything in one pack for a small, for a low price. Yeah, so that drawers that are all labeled slowly sort of got corrupted and let's not even talk about it, right? That, and there's another problem. That drawer is all in standard. So another way to solve this issue was to buy these sort of things. This is an assortment pack, but it's these are metric. So I already know if I need a metric or something, I can look in this. And as you know, as I know, when you get into a, when you run into something where you need metric, a lot of times it's like I have no idea what if I even go to the store, I don't even know what I'm asking for. I know I need a metric nut or a metric bolt, and it's like, I don't know what that thread is. I, you know, no idea. So having an assortment pack, I'm able to, you know, check it and find the one I need immediately out of these crazy little assortment packs. So I think they're a terrific idea. I have slowly uh, gathered more and more of these over time, and I've been using the drawers less and less, I find. So it's like, you know, I thought uh, we would talk a little bit about garage and organizing the hardware thing because uh, it's really, the metric has really thrown a new curve into the situation. And I really am trying to get away from too many of these drawers. Uh, the last yard sale I was at, the, the gal had a fabulous, great big one, and I looked at it and I just thought, I don't want all that, you know, little drawers with hardware, all that junk just sitting in my, nah, it's like, nah, because I'll never be able to find what I need. With these packs, at least I'll know exactly where to look and what I need and go, yep, I'll just dig through here. There's a, they're nice because they come with a matching bolt, the washer, the nut, everything is right there. I don't have to look through drawers to try to, you know, does this match this, you know? <laughs> Oh, oh, big shout out to Greg over there in the Northwest. Uh, there's the coffee cup and the t-shirt. He sent me a picture of himself with a coffee cup and t-shirt from Coffee and Tools. Yes! <laughs> and, uh, hey, Greg. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, in this week, I needed a spring. I found it right here, you know, in the spring kit. And I have dug through for springs in the past and hit the spring kit all the time. And it was only 200 pieces. It wasn't a very expensive kit. I think I paid around 10 or $11, whatever, for it at the time. But I really like uh, this idea and then putting them together in low profile drawers. And you can open the drawers up and you have an assortment. In this case, I have an assortment of small standard sizes in, in screws, nuts, and washers. And I also have an assortment of uh, bolts, uh, screws, and nuts and stuff in a metric so I, I, I can cover the problem generally out of these little packs instead of looking through all these little drawers trying to you know uh, is this one no that's that's not it so <laughs> love to hear from anybody that has uh, storage situations this is of course on a budget you know what I mean it's like I buy these about maybe one every six months I might add to my collection or whatever and I'm pretty happy with what I have I you know over time, I have gone into these and gotten away from, you know, the drawer thing. Besides the fact that drawers do break when you use them a little a couple times and all of a sudden one screw gets jammed in there and next thing you know the whole front of the drawer rips off or something in your hand. So I would like to hear from anybody else that has something like that. If you have a, a layout of uh, pigeonholes in a box and you have it all labeled out like Ace Hardware, you need to see a therapist. But you know, like, yeah, that's great, but you have to have some money to do something like that. I find this is an inexpensive way to carry the different accessories that I need. Oh, and I will provide links in the description below for these screw packages that I have here on display today, and I also have some more. Uh, and I'll just I'll just throw some links up there for you. Uh, where you can find these things and like I said uh, 1200 piece something like that a lot of times I add that to my shop to my like I said my low profile drawers in my little work work benches and it's just so much easier than this business you know oh god oh we should need to give something away today don't we yeah we do let's do something let's do a giveaway if you've gone this far get your name in for something let's give something away yes yeah. So if you've watched this far, let's get the chance to win something, right? All right. Uh, we do have a big giveaway on the November the 24th for a uh, Laser Master 3. 
if you want to get in on that you'll have to go back a few episodes and see how to get into that contest it was on an episode that was uh, two or three episodes ago i believe we we set that up so that at the end of the month for 24th on turkey day we'll be giving away that laser meantime uh, i want to give this away uh by next thursday i want to give it to a viewer so we're going to get this out of here yeah i love it it's it's the you know it is really a nice pocket hole jig and it's uh the pro aluminum model they call it it's not very expensive for what it is it's a great pocket hole kit for somebody and it's from uh my friends over there at banggood.com sent this over to us to take a look at it review it and just it is really right now it would be my favorite pocket hole jig it just is because the metal construction the aluminum plus all these great white line markings on here that uh, allow you to set everything up to drill and make pocket holes let's give it away yeah okay i'm gonna move over here so we can do this move over here and next thursday so uh to get in on this draw all you gotta do is email email to uh put it right up here uh ct rewards at gmx.com in the subject line uh let's write uh well for the subject line let's do uh hole h o l e yeah and you're gonna just put that in now in the body of the email just your name and your address that's all we need and then we will draw tickets next thursday to see who, who wins the pocket hole jig from coffee and tools from, that came in from banggood.com uh, i've seen banggood.com on uh facebook advertising and stuff some of their prices look so low you might think oh, you know i don't know if this is a real site or not it, they're the real deal and this one was from of course is made by a company enjoy wood they make a lot of different wood product tools you know so this is just one of their uh tools and this like i said quality wise this is as good a pocket hole joiner joiner it's, it's probably one of the best ones i've ever seen come in here for a lot of the features it's a very good machine so anyways hopefully a viewer next thursday we'll get that we'll pull the tickets on it between now and thursday so that uh next thursday we'll pull the tickets and uh thursday morning we'll cut the draw off at some point and we'll we'll pull it in and we'll set it up and somebody some lucky winner is going to have himself a nice one meantime i want to thank everyone of course always like always for watching coffee and tools and thanks for coming in this week to see what we're doing in the garage oh yeah we're always always up to something <laughs> and uh please like share subscribe and ring the notice bell for giveaways too because you don't want to miss a giveaway uh we we review tools but we give them away you know that's what happens here a lot most of the stuff goes back out to the viewers uh, every once in a while something happens and no we, we don't we can't give it for whatever reason shipping problems sometimes it's too big i haven't had i don't think i've had that problem just yet but it's yeah it's coming the um monday i uh, got the last review on a final machine that we will no longer be uh covering on this channel i believe i think we, i think this is the last one it's a laser yeah it, it's the biggest one i believe to this day that's ever been sent in but when we finish this one um i hope not to see any more of these open air lasers in here uh they are a great hobby machine for a lot of people no question about that i just think that uh sometimes you can only talk so much about a banana after a while it gets a little boring right you know so anyways we're not going to be doing uh, any more lasers this year next year uh, i'm not sure what we're going to lean towards but i'd like to lean more towards the garage the tools the basic you know uh, you know guy stuff that just happens around the garage all the time like today with storage just you know it, it, to me that's more down to earth I want a good luck to everybody, and uh, I'm out of here. Hey, over and out.